Hey everyone, this is the Good Luck Buy Cheap Gimbal. Um, as you can see, it normally hangs from this, but I've rotated it around. Um, all you have to do is turn it. You do lose a little bit of motion here because that now hits, but that's still a lot of movement. If you want to fix that, you can just add a standoff right here just to raise this up, and you'll have full movement again. So I also have it plugged into a joystick controller for pitch and roll. Um, this needs 5 volts of power, um, but I'm using a 12 volt battery. The gimbal, however, does put out 5 volts of power in the pitch and roll plug pins, um, so it's not an issue. So all I'm going to do is plug it in now and show you how it works. Okay, so we are now plugged in. It takes it a sec to calibrate. And turn on. Alright, and so we're on. And totally motion stabilized, as you can see. So if you're on a motorcycle and you turn, camera stays level. And with my joystick, I can aim it wherever I want in both the X and the Y. Um, or pitch and roll, as it's properly called. So, that is about it. All together with the battery, with the gimbal, and with this sucker, this was roughly, oh, $110 total. Um, I also have this little unit here, which is a um, 12 or to 24 volt to 5 volt. And so this will actually allow me to take that battery and charge the GoPro while I'm at it. So I can just put this in the circuit right here, run a wire to the GoPro, and everything is powered. And so you could run for hours and hours like that. Um, if you build the right hookup, if you do flip this upside down, you now have all this height up here. So you could theoretically have the GoPro in its case. You just need a way to affix it to this bottom plate. Uh, and yeah, so this is a cheap and easy way to do it. It's a lot of fun with this thing. Um, gives you a lot more control. Uh, you can plug in the gimbal itself to your computer and through uh, some poor Chinese software adjust all of the settings, adjust uh, sensitivity, where it should be, X, Y. Um, the actual sensor, um, the accelerometer and gyro sensors are down here. It's just on the bottom. It doesn't come glued on perfectly level, um, so you might need to adjust it in the computer settings, but that's everything.